We are on the edge of Sebago Lake. You ready? I'm ready. Get on. I got Michelle McAtee with me. Much better than being in the office. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is plenty of ice. She's never been fishing. I'm gonna take her out and show her how to ice fish. It's pretty sad that I've never been ice fishing or fishing, and I'm going out to get a hands-on experience now. I'm excited. Yeah, we are. My home away from home. Today, we're gonna use some jig poles. Do I get to run the auger? You're gonna help me run the auger. You're gonna do the whole thing today. Cool. That puts a nice big hole in there because you latch onto one of these big ones. You don't want to have to fight to get them up. What we got to do is get some bait on there. This particular jig, it's got two holes in here. Mm -hmm. The front one is if you're using that in the summertime, but if you're using this for ice fishing, you want to use this one. What this does is when you pull it up, it causes it to dart. It's got a pretty good movement in it. To help entice the fish, we want to put some bait on there. This looks a little oh. suckers. <laughs> I hold my fingers on that hook right there. Okay. And then I just take and I put those two hooks down like that. Okay. Now you want to go get them back in the hole before you freeze it. That's going to start going down. And you let it go right down until it doesn't go any farther. Yeah. Okay. I like to bounce it every now and then right off the bottom because there's some silt down there. And it causes this little like puff. Lake trout are very curious. They're going to come over and they're going to see what's going on. And, that jig is now resting right on the bottom. So then, once you're on bottom, you just click that up. We're only gonna bring that up foot. one foot. Mm -hmm. So now if a fish hits that, we're gonna be fighting that. You could ask 10 different people the proper way to jig, and you're gonna get probably 10 different answers, maybe 11. Okay. You don't have to go frantic with it. You can let it sit for a second. When he hits that, trust me, you're gonna know so you've talked a lot of smack. Loses the going. So going I'm giving down. you the advantage. You're starting first, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, you good with that? I got one. I got one. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> hey, go dig your hole. I'm ready. Okay. Let's wait. Let's do this. <laughs> Anticipation. I'm waiting for this thing to yank on this. It's a beautiful day in Maine. I'll tell you what. I've got inside prepped. The fire going. Get some food going. And we'll fish right inside and get some, get some lunch at the same time. This is a life. I think I want to build one. Nothing better than some hot chili on a cold, snowy day. Oh my gosh, did he just catch another one? Where's mine? Well, you got to entice him to a bite. Ah, that one! <laughs> real. Fast? If you got one, real. It's not a race to the top. You don't want any slack in the line. Hold on, he's right there. <laughs> That's the biggest one you've ever seen, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a long day, but <laughs> finally! <laughs> kind of challenging, waiting to get one, and it was really exciting when we did get one. What you think of that? Yay, let's do it again. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for some new bait. Yes, let's go. I'm addicted now. All right, here you go. Let's go to the bait where I can get one. Woohoo! 